Thanks for watching Access Hockey MI. As always, happy 2020 to all of our friends on the internet. <laughs> uh, we're going to talk about the All-Stars today. The All-Star competition for the NHL and the AHL is just around the corner. It happens on the 25th of January for the NHL and then the 25th and 26th. So the, uh, the All-Star game is on the 25th. Yes. Um, and both of our teams, so the Red Wings and the Griffins, have representatives on those teams and it's just super cool it's a really great experience for the guys to be able to be singled out of mm -hmm. their team to represent their team in these um competitions so the red wings um tyler bertuzzi was chosen for the all-star game so go bertuzzi we've been watching him since he was in grand rapids and it's just a great honor for him to be a chosen and then for the ahl we have matt ford who's actually the captain of the central mm -hmm. team and we have Chris Terry representing the Griffins. So we're just going to talk about them, kind of a little bit about their play, how excited we are for them, mm -hmm. and go from there. Yay! So Tyler Bertuzzi, um, he's he's a quirky guy, um, but he's it's well deserved. It's a well deserved honor. He's had championships in every single league he's played in: the OHL, the AHL. He was the MVP for us when we won the Calder Cup in Grand Rapids. Mm -hmm. And with the Red Wings, you know, he hasn't had a championship yet, yet. but I think that will come. Yeah. Um, he's just he's really honed in his ability. Um, mm -hmm. He's got over 30 points already on the season so out of the team he's performing really well yeah. and though the team itself isn't doing great right now individually each effort is starting to show and Bertuzzi is one of those workhorses that with how he's kind of honed in his physical play um, you can see how much he's grown in the last couple of seasons so mm -hmm. it's just really cool to see someone who we know have worked very very hard to get to where he's at just to be able to have the honor and take a few days and not necessarily goof off, but it's a lighter load, and it's just a fun time for them. Yeah, and like Rachel said, it is a huge honor to be chosen, and I know that he was quoted in saying, you know, just he thinks he was chosen just because you have to choose someone from each team or it's a they bird, have to be voted quote. in. <laughs> but um, for us, it's really exciting because we've watched him since Grand Rapids, where, like Rachel said, he did win the Calder Cup with us, and we've seen his play develop, and he's just become such a two-way player mm -hmm. um, and just a scrappy guy to watch, but it's he gets stuff done, and yep. it's just... It's a huge honor, I think, to be singled out. Yeah. Um, so we're just really happy he about it. He hasn't lost his edge. Like, his style is right. still the same. It's really scrappy. And that's hard to say. But he's matured in He's it, been in weird. multiple different leagues. He's yep. been able to grow in each of those leagues into the player that those leagues need because yep. they're all very different, yet all toward the same goal. So yep. it's just cool to see that. So Matt Ford is the AHL, one of the AHL representatives for the Griffins, and he is actually the captain of the Griffins right now. So if you're not familiar with that, go watch some of the games um, watch some of the games Watch how he up. skates. It's the greatest thing ever. He <laughs> is a workhorse. He yes. has such tenacity on the ice. And just recently, I mean, in a game just passed, he was able to get two goals mm -hmm. to really jumpstart the game. So he's a captain that really gets in the mix. And I think that that's something mm -hmm. that's very important. As a captain, you want a captain that, hear how, here's how it's done. Mm -hmm. Go do it. This I do it too, you know, that kind of stuff. So yeah. it's just exciting to see him get the chance. And he's got over 17 points um, or 17 plus points in the season. I have pucks. <laughs> <laughs> 17 in plus you're points those in this season um, so far. And like I said, he's just a workhorse. He is. And he's one of those leaders that he's he's been our captain for two seasons now. But it's really great to watch him with the guys taking that time and the individual effort he's also put forward. He never stops improving. No. <laughs> he's, he's not like... I'm captain, that kind of caps it all off, no pun intended, uh -huh. um, but he he's always the one grinding in there. He's never going to expect him to do something he wouldn't do or hasn't done himself, um, and to that me, just it speaks volumes to To me, character. he's a clear choice for captain yeah. for the team, um, and that just shows him being singled out for mm -hmm. leadership. He's been in a leadership role with the Griffins since we've had him in 16, 17. Um, he was an alternate captain when we, the, when we won the Calder Cup. And now he's been captain like Richard. He's going to help us seasons. bring it back again. So why don't you talk about Chris Terry, who's <laughs> another Chris favorite Terry, We've talked about him before. There's not enough words to describe Just this man. Um, <laughs> he's had consecutive AHL selections. This is the second season, or all-star selections, the second season in a row he's representing us as the Griffins. Um, but he averages a point per game. He's been the leading AHL point leader multiple times. He's just... He's... A machine, yeah, and a he, point machine. Yeah, you don't. Sometimes you don't know how he gets the puck in, but he just does. But he's another one of those workers where he goes on the ice and he just kills it. He never looks like he runs out of gas, and it's a huge honor too. And he's a really low key guy. All these guys, well, Matt Ford and Chris Terry, they're both really low key guys, mm -hmm. so they don't want that 
um, I guess, clout and yeah, be put on they, a pedestal. They're not, but they're not people who desire a lot of attention. No. They just play really well, so they get a lot of attention. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But right now, we've pretty we've got a pretty decimated Grand Rapids Griffins team. We have a lot of guys either up with Detroit or out with injury right now. Mm-hmm. And these two men have stepped up a ton to, stuff yeah, to just help out the mm-hmm. team. And um, we don't have a veteran problem right now just because of some call-ups and mm-hmm. some injuries. So Matt Ford's been able to play, I think, um, more consistently than he's yeah. I, maybe more consistently than he's used to. I guess I can't really like say that for well, fact. Last season but, we had a veteran issue a lot too. So right, so it's, it's hard. <laughs> um, these two guys have just been stellar for mm-hmm. us ever since we've gotten them, and it's just great to see them recognized for that by the league, by their teammates. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's just going to be interesting to see them playing with guys that they face off against they throughout the entire season. Punch in the face. <laughs> I think it's hard for us to watch. So. It is very hard, but it's a good opportunity though. The All-Star, you know, in the AHL level at least, it doesn't get a whole lot of flack. In fact, it's fun to watch because you do see these guys from different teams having to play and together. And you're like, oh, they're friends. Yeah, they set their, indi- their differences on the side and they're just having a good time and being able to broadcast their skills and abilities and just have a good time meeting other guys on a different level right. than, you know, as opposing players, which oftentimes you just want to hit them so <laughs> well <laughs> it's nice to see the camaraderie yeah it is so if you haven't heard about any of these guys Tyler Bertuzzi would be the Detroit Red Wings representative for the NHL all-star team and then the um, AHL we've got Matt Ford and Chris Terry representing the Griffins so check Super out those proud. games um end of January is when they're going to be the 25th and 26th um respectfully those days around there um <laughs> make sure you look at some games that they're playing in currently just keep an eye on these yeah. guys whether the teams are doing amazing as a whole mm-hmm. you can still watch these individual players oh, yeah. and see them shine so we really encourage you to do that let us know what you think in mm-hmm. the comments if you think someone else should have been chosen from either team Ooh. who what all-star you're excited for from either the nhl or the ahl just to watch play That's you, a risky who do you think question fun. Well, it's fine. Who would you rather They're see? They're fine. <laughs> They're fine. <laughs> These are um, good choices. <laughs> we will uh, see you next time. Thanks again so much for watching. And again, we'll see you next time. Yeah.